Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome back to some more Iron Man. Today, we've got ourselves a nice little dragon implink to start things off so that we can bust out of that. But six Snapdragon Seeds is pretty nice, but I'm not going to be able to use them for a very long time. So they're dead for me, dead to me for the time being. But what I did get, which is pretty nice, was 1500 flax. Uh, it's now time to spin these bad boys up. So 1500 flax later, I may manage to get myself from 32 to 40 crafting, I think. Um, but my main goal of today was to get Shallow Village done. So to get that done, we needed to finish Jungle Potion and then do the main quest itself. It kind of looks a bit... Uh, easy when you smash it up together like this, but eventually I got it done and I now had access to the village itself and By the time that I actually got inside the village I was it was nearing like the end of the day and I just wanted to just chill out for a bit and Generally when I want something like that to do fishing is what I do best So I went and stayed at shallow village for a bit and managed to pick myself up a fair amount of trout and or salmon and Get a few fishing levels along the way so all in all I think I got myself around 1800 trout and about 1100 salmon and the good thing about these fish is that after I, I like it, it serves two purposes. I get my cooking closer to 70 for recipe for disaster, and I constantly just have this huge stash of fish to heal myself on whenever I just take a chomp down session on some trout, and then I'll be good to go from there. So I quite like having these low level fish, even though they're not that effective, but they will serve a purpose for a very long period of time. But uh, after my fishing little grind, I think uh, the next day is when this occurred. I went and spent some time at the you know mining area, a uh, little northeast of the bank. Has quite a few iron rocks that aren't too far away from each other, and I managed to uh, stay there for quite some time. And the reason why I wasn't using the Arty Cloak spot is because at the time that I did this, it wasn't actually released. So otherwise, then I probably <laughs> would have used that. But I mean, this spot's pretty good. It gets the job done. But in the end, after a hard little session of mining, got myself a thousand iron ore. And the strategy I'm going to employ it for smelting these bars is that I'm going to be using Ring of Forgings that I have uh, looted from Puro Puro. They've actually stacked up quite a lot. And the amount of Ring of Forgings I have compared to the 1027 ores that uh, I need to smelt, I've got a little bit overkill. So I'll be very, very easily able to cover that and a little bit extra if I need to get some done at a later time. Okay, so this is the start of a brand new day and I'm looking at a blow flow in real life and I think it's actually gonna interfere with the recording. So if that happens, it's gonna die. It's gonna pay for it. But for now, I think I'm good to record. <laughs> but yeah, after I finished mining those 1000 iron ores that I, I probably would have shown you guys just before. So I won't go into too much, but uh, what I need to do is grab my ring of forgings and use them at a furnace. Now, um, I would normally just go to Alcarid, but I get the feeling that um, procrastinating questing is going to be detrimental. So instead of doing that, um, I also have 10,000 feathers left over, which is pretty much perfect uh, because what I'm going to do with these 1,000 ores, um, this is my lava dragon tab, by the way. I don't know if I've shown this at all at like any point. So... Just throwing that out there. Uh, just a side note. Um, fuck lava dragons. Uh, not specifically the dragons, more the people that kill me for 12k worth of runes. But that's okay. Not really, but <laughs> in, in short, I don't think I'm going to go back to lavas because I can't stand it. Like, it takes me 80 casts or so to kill a, a dragon. And um, it's... It, it's really good prayer XP, I must admit, but since I'm 43, I don't think I will go back there. I might go on a bit more of a tangent at another point, but for now, uh, I think I'll just stay on track with the Ring of Forging. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is a couple of quests. And the ones I need to get done are the Tourist Trap. You're probably wondering why. Um, I've left myself 4k agility to 52. Um, what this means is that when I complete the Tourist Trap, I will get 52 agility with the XP reward. Um, I'm not too sure if I can pick it twice. Uh, if I can, I will. But 52 agility is required for the Wilderness uh, Agility course, so um, I'm not going to spend any time at Felidor uh, from now on, I suppose. So uh, I've also got this little graceful outfit. It was actually pretty cool how it worked out. Um, had the exact perfect amount. But yeah, I need to do go to a few quests like um, Ghost Ahoy and things to unlock the Ectophile. 
I want to do Ghost Ahoy today. I want to get to his trap done. Uh, that actually serves a double purpose. I will be able to unlock the ability to make Iron Darts. And that is how I play on a training range. So the 10k feathers, yeah, it works perfectly. So once I've smelted all these bars, I'll be able to make 10k unfletched feathers. And what this will do, it'll get me a bunch of fletching XP, a bunch of smithing, and then a bunch of ranging. So it's kind of like a trifactor of amazingness that I will be working over over the next few hours. So yeah, quest to be done. And I'll keep you guys updated as I go along. Uh, hopefully with commentary, but we'll see how we go. So, yeah, I'm going to leave Shallow Village for now and get stuck in a few quests. Okay, so I'm going to buy my buckets of slime. And whilst I was here, I was going to test the waters to see uh, how well I can buy soda ash and buckets of sand. And as you saw, I just logged into this world and there was one in the store for each commodity. So... I think I'm going to have a bit of an issue training crafting, if I'm totally honest. It's quite, it's a little bit unfortunate that uh, a lot of people are on to ha like how this works. So uh, buying, you know, the materials for unfired orbs is going to be next to impossible to do. Uh, unless I'm really like allowing myself to do this with, you know, look at that. I hope to worlds, I get one. Like, it's just disgusting at this point. So, um... I don't think I'm going to train crafting with uh, Molten Glass for a long time, but Molten Glass is required for a, uh, a few quests, so I guess I will just be buying out uh, enough Molten Glass to finish all the quests I need to like get done. Um, and it's just like a good item to always have uh, just in the back of your bank, so whenever you need it, um, you know, you can utilize it without having to go out of your way to get it every single time. So. Yeah, I'm probably just going to hop a few more worlds and just stock up just a little bit more. It's honestly, um, I wish there was a better way to do this. Like, fresh worlds have just got one left and it's it's just, uh, it's a little sad to see. But um, I think I'll just train my crafting with flax. But the problem with flax is that um, there's no real great way to train it. Uh, well, no real great way to obtain it. Apart from in let, let ya, I don't know how to pronounce that. Let ya, let let ya, whatever you want to call it. But um, I think that unfortunately is how I'm gonna have to get my crafting to 60 for lunar diplomacy. Uh, I didn't anticipate that, but if I am going to pick, you know, thousands upon thousands of bowstrings, I really do think it's gonna be worth it uh, for me to get fletching up. Otherwise, the bowstring is just gonna to turn to crap. Um, but I don't want to spend the time cutting ewes because. Uh, I just feel they're quite inefficient if I'm totally honest. Um, so I don't know, maybe I could make them into maple, maple longbows if I start uh, opening up the kingdom and getting logs from there because I honestly don't see myself cutting maples either um, in vast quantities, I suppose. So anyway, that's where I'm at with crafting. Um, it's not exactly 100% relevant right now, which is thankful because uh, if I was, you know, relying on this whole world hopping thing to get buckets of ash and whatever it's called soda ash and buckets of sand i think i'd be screwed with crafting for quite a while so um fortunately i can just leave that sit for quite a while and train other skills that i prioritize higher than that so like i said before in the previous clip i think it's time to start get stuck into some quests um i also opened up the fairy rings which is sick and uh the ectophile has another purpose of course um, there is a very close, uh, air, what is it, fairy ring close to the Ecto Teleport. Um, it's not super close, uh, because, you know, none of the fairy rings are really that close to any teleport locations. I'll actually pick up these planks, be a bit cheeky. Um, things like planks and, I don't know, I always like to pick up random items because they always come in handy, but, um, um, yeah, the Ectifier is going to allow me to get around the map quite you know, more efficiently, and I'm not going to have to utilize a lore in every time I want to use the fairy ring, so it's double as good. I mean, I'll take a little bit of damage every time I use the fairy ring because of the vampires, but at the same time, I think it's totally worth it, um, because, you know, there's like no death potential unless I lag out, and my, you know, one of 50 ring of lives just fail me, but, uh, yeah, I think it's about time we get stuck into the, the quest. I'm actually just walking to a fairy ring now. 
Um, so the fishing troll is like my fairy ring of choice right now. But yeah, I'm going to st get stuck into some quests and stop repeating that phrase <laughs> over and over. So I'm looking forward to doing Animal Magnetism uh, Wanted is actually a quest I want to get done because uh, Animal Magnetism requires like 18 or 19 Slayer. And if I do Wanted, I will be, you know, at least 20 because it gives me 5k Slayer XP. So yeah, I've got a lot of questing to do. And I might leave it at that, so wish me luck in having a good time, but, uh, yeah. Alright, I've got to admit, this place is absolutely gorgeous to train at. Uh, there's not many places in this game that I would consider good to look at, but, I don't know, I like this one. Um, even, this, even if this game is, like, the graphics aren't the greatest thing, just this little landscape area looks pretty sick. And it's quite a peaceful tra uh, place to train. Um, but what I'm doing right now is just obviously grabbing a rune axe because I've trained up until 40 with a steel axe. Um, I think I need 41 for a rune axe, which is really sad. <laughs> so I'll have to train, you know, further along with a steel axe to get to 41. Uh, unless of course I get an Addy or a Mithril. But I also need a Mithril axe for animal magnetism. So, um, uh, I thought I would come here because I wanted to get here as soon as I can and unlock the rune axe also as soon as I can, but I just remembered that the Mithrax is a required item, so I'm killing a few birds with, you know, just the one stone, so being a little bit efficient there, but yeah, I quite like my mage gear, um, it looks kind of nice, I just don't have a top, <laughs> so it's a little bad, but I like it, and it's weird, because I have split black gloves, and even though they have like a high requirement, I'm not too sure about their mage requirement, but uh, at least they have a high defense, I know that, but the Mystic Gloves actually have a higher mage bonus, um, which is kind of confusing, but I don't know. It's uh, it's good either way. They're both, you know, oh, there we go. Perfect. So that's the uh, Blessed Axe for Animal Magnetism out of the way, um, with just the Rune Axe remaining for woodcutting. So I think I might drop the tangent about Split Black Gloves and one mage bonus, but essentially uh, I'm going to be here until I get a Rune Axe. Um, I could just leave right now and do the quest, but I don't know. I'm just enjoying myself too much, so wish me luck on the rune axe drop. Naturally, didn't actually get the rune axe drop first, but the Addy one came first, and eventually, shortly after, the rune axe followed. So, I still actually need to get myself 41 woodcutting before I can actually use this thing, but it will be nice when I do get that. But, uh, naturally, the virtual vegetarian in me had to take a little bit of an effort to stop that cruelty against that chicken, but it was now time to actually complete Wanted, and I thought I'd include this. Like, this is probably one of my favorite cutscenes in this whole game. I'm not too sure much how much XP he gets from that barrage, but that that is fucking something else. And there it is, one to complete 5k Slayer XP. I still haven't trained the skill. And I hit level 23 from that, so that's brilliant. Um, I actually did get a Slayer task from Vanaka before, and he gave me 12 vampires, so... Um, I don't like that. I might swap it out for something else, but for now, 23 Slayer is sick. And if I get an XP lamp and decide to use it on Slayer, that'll be 24. So, yeah, that is an amazing quest, uh, reward, uh, especially in one of the hardest skills to train. So that is my, uh, Slayer requirement out of the way for, uh, Aminal. Aminal! Wow, I haven't said that in a while. Animal Magnetism. So I'm going to go ahead and complete the other requirements so I can get stuck right into it. Alright, so smashing out 41 woodcutting, I can now use the rune axe as opposed to the peasant edition steel and or adamant. That was a short life, but it was well worth it. Thank you, adamant axe. But I now needed to get some of the requirements for Ghost Ahoy. Some were skills, some were items, and some were ecto tokens. So 20 cooking, some ecto tokens on my belt, as well as an oak longbow was all that I really needed to get done until I could actually finish this quest. What? But yeah, after spending some good quality time with myself under the bed sheets, I managed to promptly finish off the Ghost Ahoy quest. So this is going to be sick. I can now use the Acta file and uh, access Port Phasmatis for free, I think. So that's pretty important. But obviously the main reason why I got 
to port fails Maddie's in the first place was to smelt the iron bars. So eight ring of forgings later, they were all done. So, but now that I have my bars, I need the ability, obviously, to create them into darts. And there is where the tourist trap purpose lies. So completing that quest was pretty nice. I managed to get myself 52 agility from the experience rewards in the end. And it wasn't too bad. I can now uh, just choose to use the wilderness course if I no longer want to uh, rot away on the felled or rooftop agility course. But anyway, we got it done. And it was now time to smith the rest of those iron darts. All right, so that's 10k iron dart tips done. A little bit extra, but I mean, I'm going to use them all so it doesn't really matter. So now that's all left to do is uh, grab the same amount of feathers and get stuck in it, fletching these. I'm actually going to be fletching these inside pest control uh, in between hits. <laughs> I'll make sure I participate. I can't stand people who don't, but um, yeah, it's time to get stuck into this and I'm, I'm hoping I can fletch these. Okay, I'm good. And I'm also hoping I can fletch them in the pest control mini game. Otherwise, I'll be super sad. I essentially want to get full void uh, ready for when I hit 42. I do not want to train range without that set of armor. So I'm going to go ahead and get busy and yeah, I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, so I wanted to kind of track how much I got from these 10k um, so I'm sitting at about nine and a half K fletching I've already smithed a few but I wanted to get in before I did them all so without checking I could you know get a before and after so uh, I think it's about time I start going crazy I think I'll go crazy in the next game when I can actually concentrate and I also want to see how much money and also pest points I get so yeah I'm gonna get stuck into this and we'll see how much we get Okay, so all the darts are done, 100 pest points have been achieved, and it is now time to set up some mouse traps because I look like an absolute rodent. <laughs> 